How are you doing, sir? Good, Alex. How are you doing today? Doing great. Doing great. Good. How was uh, the scrimmage today? It was good. I uh, thought I thought I played well. I thought the offense played well. So we, we competed. So good. So are you right now, like in the scrimmage today? Um, approximately how many reps did you get? And are you working in with the ones and twos or how's everything working out for you there? I would say mostly twos. Um, I've probably got about 30 reps. Right now I have a pulled uh, muscle in my rotator cuff. So mm, okay. I did that about two, two and a half weeks ago. So like they're, they're limiting me on my throws. Um, it's still not like 100%, um, but they're just limiting me. But, you know, quick game, yeah. you know, bubbles, and just like st staying off of it as much as possible. So, okay. And that's, I'm assuming that's the rotator cuff and your throwing arm. Yes, sir. Okay. Thanks for that update. Appreciate it. Alex, you know, you've had a really interesting journey as a West Point quarterback. Yes, uh, why don't you fill the fans in uh, at GBK on, um, you know, kind of your journey? You were, you were pretty highly recruited out of high school, as I remember. Rivals right. featured a lot of stories on you. Yeah. And I uh, kind of had an interesting journey. And I think people are kind of excited about where you're at now. So why don't you go through that a little bit? Yes, sir. I will. Uh, so and I was a quarterback recruit here 2019. I uh, went to prep school. Um, I put, had a great year at prep school. I started. Um, I thought I played really good. I just like kind of lost interest in the whole like football thing. I wanted to concentrate on the military. Um, and then, so after prep school, I just called it quits and, um, just was like, you know, once I get to the Academy, I want to, uh, just, you know, concentrate on being a cadet and what that entails. But then, you know, uh, about this time last year, I was like, you know, I have the next 30 years if I want to, to be in the army. And so I was like, I, my time to play football is running out. I was missing it. So I got in contact with Coach Worley, the QB coach, um, Coach Munkin, and I just like called him, had a meeting with him. I was like, hey, like, I'd love to come back out, uh, give me a second chance. And they did. And um, so now I've, I've been on the team for a little, about a year now, a little, maybe a little over a year. This is my second spring. So I joined the beginning of last spring. Um, court, I was a quarterback and then they uh, last football season. So about, I would say, September, early of last season, they moved me to receiver just because of like quarterback depth purposes. And they were like, I was I was pretty I'm a pretty athletic guy. So they were like, you know, just go to receiver, you know, because we need depth there. So I helped there. And then after the season, they've um, moved me back to quarterback. And so it's been a good move. Um, I think I think I'm more comfortable there. So, yeah. And would you say Coach Thatcher's new offense? has been a little better fit for you than the I, traditional flex phone? I do. I do. I think it fits me better. I think I'm more confident in this new offense. Um, just, uh, I don't know, you know, for me, the the whole triple option, I, you know, the triple option, we still run a, a version of the triple option. Out right. Of but it's a lot easier out of the gun. You can see more, you can read more, under center, everything happens so quick. It was just new to me. Um, you know, I did it at prep school, but – um, it was just never my style. So now I feel way comfortable in this new offense. And so hopefully I can build on that. Good. And, you know, I know a lot of the fan base has a lot of questions about the quarterback position. I've talked with Coach Drinkle, Coach Thatcher, and Coach Munkin about it um, with, you know, graduating three firsties this year who were, mm -hmm. were the top three quarterbacks. Uh, it's pretty wide open, I think, with, you know, I've been hearing your name a lot, clearly Bryson Daly, yes, um, as well as uh, Zach Mundell and a few others. How's the quarterback room kind of gelling and coming together with you and Bryson kind of being the new leaders uh, and, and kind of with the vacuum that was created with the graduation of the top three quarterbacks last year? Well, you know, we know, um, you know, going in that, you know, we were replacing three seniors, uh, three firsties. And, you know, it's just given us not, not a whole lot of us have a lot of experience um, just playing overall. And so we we knew that, you know, we got to, uh, you know, just grind. Um, Come together, you know, just whoever's uh, the best fit's going to play. And, you know, we're uh, we're competing against each other, but, you know, um, we know that we got to step up and we got to lead this offense. So. Good stuff. And uh, we're now basically uh, five and a butt days out from the spring game. And, um, you know, what are you looking forward to in the spring game? Um, you know, I don't know with your injury if you'll be limited or how much you'll play or whatever, but what are you looking forward to and kind of what do you want to accomplish between now and then the last week of spring practice? Well, I just want to get like, um, 
I just want to compete, you know, uh, that's the main goal. Just go out there and compete, show show that, prove to myself and to prove to the, my teammates and the coaches that I can compete at this level. Um, and then between now and then, uh, just like getting, you know, more reps with the guys, more comfortable with the meshes, the throws, the, you know, pitching the ball, pitch relationships, just like getting that we can, uh, you know, this is a new offense, but we can go out there and we can really uh, light it up if we want to. So just, you know, get more comfortable with each other. All right. Well, thank you very much, Alex. Appreciate your time and uh, good luck the rest of the way with spring practice you, and sir. the rest of the academic year. Thank you so much. Have a good one.